Good morning from Arlanda Airport. I'm currently on a nine hour layover here in Stockholm, and I've decided that I want to check out the city once again. So I'm here on the Arlanda Express, speeding towards the center of Sweden's capital. After visiting the city twice, I think that Stockholm is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. From the large, quiet pedestrian streets, to the beautiful city center, to the small waterfront, Stockholm really has everything. After a few hours in the sun, I'm back at Stockholm Central train station to continue my journey on to Prague. After retrieving my luggage from a short-term storage locker at Terminal 5, I print out my boarding pass and drop off my bag at Arlanda Airport's remote baggage drop kiosks. Today, I'm flying out of Terminal 5, and as usual, it's a mess. Multiple security checkpoints were closed, and the one checkpoint that was open took almost an hour to get through. There were passengers screaming and yelling about missing their flights, and people eventually began shoving each other to get through one of the security checkpoints that had just opened. Anyways, I eventually made it through with all of my luggage unscathed. So this is probably a mile of walking between gates 1 to 24 and F28 through 69 to gate C30 to C44. Like this is an absolutely ridiculous amount of walking. 30 minutes of walking and 3,500 steps later, and I find myself at the far end of Terminal 5. Pulling into gate C40 is 9 Hotel Echo Uniform X-Ray, a 12-year-old Airbus A320 originally delivered to Bel Air. This aircraft then moved on to Air Berlin and finally into the possession of Eurowings in February of 2018. For a budget airline, Eurowings offers quite a decent seat with a literature pocket, small tray table, and decent legroom, but only for smaller people like me. Here's our takeoff from runway 08 at Stockholm. Eurowings is a budget airline, meaning that there is no free onboard service. As for Wi-Fi, there is none either. This is quite a bummer, as Eurowings sometimes operates these A320s on flights upwards of 3 hours long. For the price I paid for this ticket on this 2 hour flight, I can't really complain about the service. For this 1000 km flight, I paid a total of 885 Swedish krona, that's around 85 US dollars for those of you Americans watching this video, and this is including a checked bag and free seat selection, which in my mind is a great deal.
Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to see more content like this, and feel free to comment down below. I'm always open to suggestions on how to improve my videos. Take care, and have a good day, or night, wherever you are in the world.